Hello there. Orally ingested medicine can be influenced by a lot of things that you eat and drink. And today I just wanted to make a short video about things that you eat that may influence different kinds of medicine that you may be taking. I've stolen this idea from a professor of mine, so thank you Dr. Craigles. I'm going to steal this content. Medicine will be swallowed and then go into the gut. After that, from the gut, it will go into the intestines. And the intestines will then pick up the molecules of medicine, send it through to the bloodstream, to the portal vein, into the liver, where it will then be metabolized, partially at least, and then sent into the rest of the body through the bloodstream. This MS Paint image here shows the concentration of some random medicine in the bloodstream over time. As you can see, it takes a while for the medicine to be absorbed and dissolved. And the amount of medicine in the blood goes down as it gets metabolized or cleared out of the blood. You want this cleaning of the blood to happen because if it doesn't happen then you always have one bit of medicine in your body which is not good. If you take one little bit of paracetamol it may just be in your body the rest of your life which you don't want so thank you kidneys, thank you liver, you're doing great. Let's just start off with acidity. Medicine should be dissolved in water if you want it to be able to be picked up by your intestines. And in order to be dissolved in water, they need the right pH, so the right amount of acidity. And usually that perfect amount of acidity is what it is in your intestines, because if you take some kind of medicine that needs to be at a pH of, let's just say, minus four, then you will not be able to pick it up through your intestines and survive. So if you drink something that's highly acidic, such as Coca-Cola, then the medicine may just not be able to dissolve in water anymore, which means that you'll not be able to pick it up. Which is not very good, as you might imagine, because then the medicine would just simply go through you. The second way that your food can influence the way that medicine is taken up is by a protein called PGP. This protein will take strange substances and send them out of the cells. It's usually located in the edge of the intestines. So when some kind of medicine is picked up into a cell, then it will be sent back out of the cell back into the intestines by PGP in order to stop your body from picking up all kinds of toxins. If you eat St. John's worth, then that herb will influence PGP. St. John's worth has the ability to, in your body, upregulate PGP, so you'll make more of it, which means that you'll be able to send more medicine out of those cells into the intestines. And that means that more of the medicine that you've picked up along the way will be sent back into the doo-doo factory. The reason why you don't want all of this to happen is because your doctor has already calculated how much medicine you should take, and then if you don't reach that perfect amount because you eat something, then that's not very good. The next thing that can influence medicine uptake is fruit juice. This is because fruit juice can stop a certain protein named OATP, where PGP sends some kind of molecule from inside the cell back into the intestines. OATP will send something from inside the cell into the bloodstream. So if OATP gets inhibited by something like fruit juice, then no medicine will be sent into your bloodstream towards the liver, which means that once again, you don't get any medicine inside of you. The final way is probably the most well-known one. You have this protein inside of your body called CYP3A4, but we'll just call it CIP, okay? If you eat grapefruits, then CIP will be inhibited. And what does CIP do? Well, it takes some kind of medicine that you have inside of your body and it will metabolize it in order to extract it from your body and to cleanse your bloodstream. So let's say that you take some kind of medicine that influences the heart in some way. And then you start drinking a lot of grapefruit juice. Well, then the medicine will no longer be metabolized and will just build up inside of your body. So at some point, you're going to have a heart attack. So TLDR, if the packaging of your medicine says not to eat something, then please don't eat it. It may not be very good for your body. All right, so just listen to the packaging, listen to your doctor, listen to people who actually know what they're talking about. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you learned something or at least enjoyed yourself.